So, so let's look at curation and, uh, and explore kind of how it works. So, imagine you're putting together a cookbook and you wanted healthy, light, delicious meals. Well, if you look at these three images, they all have similar colors. They have little bits of red from tomatoes or peppers. They have, you know, the colors of noodles. They have green. They all have, you know, leafy greens in them. So all three of these pictures came off of Flickr. And, you know, they're, you know, this is clearly a very delicious-looking slide. I mean, you know, if you guys hadn't all eaten lunch, I would say, you know, this would make you want to run out of that room and go order something to eat. Now it's time for dessert. And you see, again, I put together a collection of ice cream, some good-looking donuts, some jelly beans, bright, colorful, sweet, sugary desserts. So those two collections of pictures, the main course and the dessert, are each well curated. They, they, they tell a story. They seem like they fit together. Now, if I take those same images and I mix them a different way, what you get is disgusting. Now, that's what happens when someone types into the, their search bar, um, you know, uh, picnic lunch recipes plus dessert or, you know, you know, dinner recipes. They get an uncurated collection that seems incoherent. And just by way of example, you know, if, if you were to go to Google right now and type in um, cat, you would get all kinds of images, including keyboard cat, which is a relatively famous team, and uh, and then you'd also get this image. Yes, I know, it's really repulsive, and I apologize for that. But I did it on purpose, which is to say, when you ask the web a question like cat, and you don't give it a, a, a contextual relevance, you end up with a picture of a man who's tattooed a cat's butt to his belly button. And yes, it's repulsive. So let's get rid of that. And, and let's understand that human beings being able to curate that picture off your screen is a, is a powerful and, I think, uh, uh, successful thing. So we used to think of this phrase, content is king, and it got thrown around a lot. And the idea was, you know, the thing that is the most powerful on the web is content. But, but I am here to suggest that content is no longer king. Curation is now king. In fact, content is ubiquitous. We all make content today. I mean, if I, were, if I could see all of you, I would ask you to raise your hands and say, how many of you have sent out a tweet today or posted on your Facebook?